take two of these and call me in the morning. Who hasn't heard that before? But how many of us, including physicians, really know how drug companies make pills? Medications are essential in the treatment of illnesses. It begins by a grinding process where the active ingredient in a tablet or pill is ground and mixed with a binding agent. The quantity of the ingredient needed to be ground is transported to the dryer in this container. Like all the other equipment, this container is made of stainless steel so as not to contaminate the product. The temperature of the dryer and the airflow are programmed with this interface. The granulation has to be dried at 40 or 50 degrees centigrade before being shaped into the desired tablet form. Molding of the pills is done by this press, which crushes the powder. The press exerts a pressure varying between 2 and 5 tons. Here's how the molding is done. The press magazine distributes the powder in molds made of steel discs. Two stampers, one above and the other below, crush the powder and form the pill. Here the press operates at full capacity. It can produce 5,000 pills per minute. Quality testing is carried out on five pills every 15 minutes. Their hardness is verified with this apparatus in which jaws crush it with a force varying between 2 and 20 kilopascals. The pills must now be coated so that they won't crumble. A coating solution made of water and coloring pigments is used. This is the coating unit. It can hold 160 kilos of pills. Three plastic tubes, positioned at strategic points, will spray the solution onto the pills in motion. The quantity of dry pills to be coated is put into the unit. Then the door of the coating unit is carefully closed. A drum turns inside the unit, tumbling the pills. Then nozzles spray the solution in the form of a mist, which quickly dries, preventing the pills from sticking to one another. This spraying operation lasts 40 minutes. Here we can compare pills. On the left are those made only of powder, while on the right are the spray-coated ones. The finished pills move down a chute to enter a counter prior to filling bottles. They are lined up in grooves to make filling easier. The quantity of pills to be placed into bottles is controlled by this automated unit connected to the counter. In this instance, 500 pills are poured into each bottle. This plant also makes capsules where the ingredient is not crushed but encapsulated in a gelatin casing. The distributor places the two halves of the capsules in the proper position for filling, with the wider half situated above. The top and bottom portions of the capsule are separated. The lower half is then filled with powder. When well filled, the two halves of the capsule are joined together. The completed capsules are then ejected from the filling unit. Then, via centrifugal force, they are positioned for the packaging process. The weight of each capsule is verified by this counter. Each capsule must have the precise weight. And the final step is packaging. A sheet of transparent PVC is heat embossed, forming an impression to receive capsules. Then, a pre-glued aluminum foil sheet is adhered to the back side, sealing everything in. This plant turns out millions of pills and capsules every year.